Atlantic service from Lagos. Wherever you're going, do have a safe onward journey, and we look forward to welcoming back on board again soon. Are you traveling to the UK from Nigeria? Is your hairline Virgin Atlantic? You need to have met these basic three requirements if you need to be hair lifted from Nigeria to the UK. You need to watch this video so that you don't miss out on your flight or suffer delay at the airport. Rules are changing quickly and you need to adhere with the regulations. Since July 19, anyone coming from Hamburg countries like Nigeria need to present proofs of their being tested PCR negative. And you need to show evidence that you have pre-book day two test. If you are fully vaccinated in the UK, you need to show evidence which must be from the NHS hub and downloaded passenger locator form. How do people find this? Are they finding it easier? Before they travel from especially Lagos to London, watch this video and let me share my experience with you guys. If this is a place where you feel relaxed, this is where you stay a little bit relaxed, especially when you have gone through the check, the security checks, and uh, I must tell you, once we pass through to get to uh, from and a trip from London to uh, from Lagos back to London, um, the uh, new code, the new uh, regulations that uh, anyone fully vaccinated coming from amber list countries like Nigeria have to get those three most important requirements. I mean, those uh, proof, three proofs ready, and that is your. Uh, NHS uh, NHS uh, uh, COVID status certificate which shows that you've already been vaccinated if you have will be fully vaccinated so you have to also have um, day two you know pre test day two you have to make the booking for your uh, day two on arrival to London in order to uh, you know that's part of the requirement and also you still have to demonstrate that you have already been tested negative uh, before boarding, before all these things here I have to ensure, especially the Virgin Atlantic, Virgin and other airlines, if you're coming to the UK, it can be very rigorous. Uh, now people have gone through all those stuff and through the security now we are here waiting to board. We can ask you to hold your own boarding pass and passport ready for inspection. Please open your pass. You want to ask me, apart from the, the stress, or what you call it, the rigorous task you have to go through at the airport when you're coming uh, either to or from Nigeria or back to the UK. Remember, not only just your physical stress, you have to also you know, make away with some uh, money. You pay for your free uh, departure test from both countries. I mean, for coming to UK to Nigeria, you must have done that. Then, uh, which you must have paid so that when you get to Nigeria, you get yourself tested and follow the Nigeria regulations. Now, going back again, do the same. You get your. <laughs> you have to book also. Uh, you book the UK. Uh, book for a test at day two and day eight. A lot of there's a little problem, especially people that have not got their NHS uh, NHS. Uh, uh, COVID status certificates. If you haven't done that, if you have to download the app and start the process, it may take 24 hours. So, unknowingly, for some travelers, having just been told they cannot do anything other than just find alternative ways, which the airlines uh, suggest that they should have both day two and day eight pre tests in a book before boarding. So, that has that's what uh, can, can lead to kind of a little stress. But, um, some people at the airport also give help towards that to they have to also make the payment which I have to make. Having me myself, I've, I've already booked a day two, which was I need as a being fully vaccinated in the UK, but I haven't got the NHS certificate. But yet, um, I still have to kind of like um, book again another one which is day two and eight that costs 84 pounds and with some little tips you give to people working out to sort that out for you even at the 
uh, at the, before you board. Just, you know, <laughs> this is just one of those things that when you are traveling, you just need to keep yourself ready. Get yourself ready. London, yeah, here we go. And all now, here is really looking good at Terminal 3. So, Virgin Atlantic now lands here at uh, Terminal 3. So, it's looking so nice, it's looking so beautiful right here. Also, welcome you guys back to London. And we continue with our vlogs of London. Yeah, just stay tuned with me, guys. Share it on this channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please kindly do. Uh, press the uh, notification bell also so you can get to um, see my videos each time I upload my you know, video content. This is our information as for the international travel guidelines that you may need to know. Traveling down to London. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so if you are here, you come to the passport controls and um, you may have to, uh, at this point, present your um, pre-departure, you know. Thank you, sir. So you may have to present your pre-departure uh, on PCR negative test at uh, this uh, point, as well as your uh, evidence of your you know, uh, passenger's uh, locator form that you must have already completed, having, you know, booked for uh, the uh, stipulated uh, test that you need to do. If you are coming from the Amber country, like Nigeria, and uh, if you are fully vaccinated, you have to present evidence of your uh, day two uh, uh, pre-booked test, and then we go for your isolation. This is it. Here we come. Huh? Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks, thanks guys.